and in the locker room. Each guy has been going over and through his own routine to get ready. But once they take the floor, they're one single unit. The brilliant blue water of Miami Beach glistening from above on a beautiful day here in South Florida. It's the NBA. Welcome to our Sunday night broadcast here on 2K Sports. Our game tonight featuring the Miami Heat as they go up against the Los Angeles Lakers. Welcome everyone to the broadcast table. Chris Weber to my right, Greg Anthony to my left. I'm Kevin Harlan and David Aldridge on our sideline. Hey, Dave. Kevin, thanks. Bam Adebayo is a first-time All-Star in 2020. He was the 14th pick in 2017. And he said, whoever gets drafted, you want to play the right way. My situation was different. I had to sit. You gain experience and reps during practice. Once you get to do it in the game, the leash gets longer, and you get to become who you want to be. Kevin, he's become one of the best young big men in the league. All right, thank you, David. Plenty of experience, Greg, on the floor tonight. How does that shape what we're about to see, do you think? You know, Kevin, this is one of those games where guys are going to be smart out on the floor. They're going to be in the right positions to make plays. And honestly, this could come down to who makes the bigger, tougher shots. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. LeBron and Green make up the backcourt. Davis is out there with Caldwell Pope, and it's Howard in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for the Heat, Dragic is out there with Robinson. Then it's Jay Crowder. Then it's Bam Adebayo. And it's Butler in at the three. Now here's James. And out of bounds as the Heat gain possession. Here's Dragic. He'll bring it up for the Heat. Now the pass to Butler. Feeds it to Crowder. And Davis sends it back. Oh, the long reach of Davis. Outstanding at using his wingspan to erase shots. Here's Howard. And it's good for two. And that'll start us off already. You can feel the tension in this arena. Oh, man, these fans are pumped. I expect them to be loud tonight. Should be a great game. Now, here's Butler. Second shot opportunity. Get to Jago. That one good from Autobio. And this is the level of intensity Autobio brings. He's terrific at channeling that energy on the offensive glass. Robinson against Green. Pass to James. Lock at six. Goes up on the high post. That one doesn't go. And Miami the other way now. They get a hand on it. Howard with the steal. And it's out of bounds. The Heat will take it the other way. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? And early in the game, a defensive play like that goes a long way, establishing the attitude you want. The Heat have gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. Robinson misses. They've missed three of their first four shots, having a little trouble finding their legs. And as he's aged in the league, Anthony Davis's offense has changed. It now much more of a face-up player. Well, and that's where his game's been headed. His shot has improved, and he can step out to the three, facing up and letting him use his burst. It lets him maximize what he can do. Here's Butler after the basket by Los Angeles. Here's Crowder, and that's good. And it's Dragic with the assist. And how about the court awareness there? Uh, Dragic, fantastic job spotting the wide open teammate. To the paint, and it's slammed in by Howard. Look, he may not be thought of as big for a center, but with his ability to go vertical, he sure plays big. Dragic the pass to Crowder. And Davis sends it back. And that's out of bounds. Miami will retain possession. 
And Miami calls their first time out of the game. And for everything that Anthony Davis does on the floor, you can't forget about his defense. Still an elite level defender, guards multiple positions and turns away a number of shots. Near the three-point line, it's Dragic. Shot is good off the back rim and in. And Davis gets a lot of blocks without getting in foul trouble. About a one-to-one -one ratio for him in his career. Uh, incredible. And he's done a great job of learning how to go straight up, playing vertical. Gets blocks, but doesn't get pulled out of position. Does everything you want from a defensive anchor. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. Yeah, coach is definitely pleased. That's the execution he loves to see. What's up? Free throw good, LeBron. You know, even though LeBron doesn't go 100% every minute of every game in the season, G.A., he still knows when to turn it on. And for someone at his age, that is something you have to know how to do. You can see when LeBron kicks it into that next gear. Can't keep it on all the time, but he's still able to take over when he needs to. Just three to shoot. Here's Butler. A rebound by the Lakers. To the middle and here we go LeBron heading to the hoop I love the way James moves in transition he's relentless and determined outside Butler passes it to Robinson back to Butler oh and the jam by Butler uh, one of the few guys in the league who make a lead pass like that oh just a fantastic look Caldwell Pope outside to Howard. Loads it up for Davis. And Davis throws it down. Oh, the timing on the play is exceptional. Davis arrives right on cue. Slam down. Rockets the pass to Butler. And the three off target. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. And Caldwell Pope gets the basket. But he doesn't have a clear path to the hoop, so why not? I mean, pull up and bury the three in transition. Outside Butler. Back to Dragic. Inside. Here's Robinson. Green with the block. Oh, look. Block his shots is one of Green's sneaky attributes. His exceptional sense of time. James dishes to Davis. And he gets it to go. Davis has got his second bucket. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Dragic with it. Now guarded by Caldwell Pope. Dragic the pass to Robinson. They need this. And it's LeBron James with the rebound. Lakers leading by 10. Caldwell Pope with a wide open look. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. Caldwell Pope's got six. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they shot the basketball. Timeout called the Heat. 
And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And, Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Here's Dragic. Outside Butler. Outside Robinson. Adebayo with the ball. And Davis sends it back. And now, here's Davis, the fast break opportunity. Oh, and it's off. They can't cash in on the break. Oh, and a fast break for the Heat. Here's Crowder. Off the mark, and the drop continues. Well, I'll tell you what. He's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench if he keeps shooting it like that. He has been putrid here this quarter. That's just an athletic, strong big man. It's hard to guard Howard, given how powerful he is. Los Angeles shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. Yeah, and they shot their free throws at a measly 73% clip over the course of last season. Shooting two. And he can't get the first one. Always an adventure from the line. One of the few blemishes on Howard's career. And the Heat with some changes. Olenek, he's checked in for Bam Adebayo. And Hero subbed in for Robinson. And the second free throw, good. Miami with the ball. They trail by 14. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Back to Dragic. Shoots from the high post. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. And Dragic can finish with ease if he gets to the bucket. So when his mid-range jumper is falling, the D doesn't know what to do with it. Fades. A nice shot by LeBron. James has got seven points in the game. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Now here's Dragic. There's the pass to Hero. Kicks to Butler. Five on the clock. That one drops, and he's now two for five. Oh, you got to admire Butler's toughness. I mean, he's always ready to take on the defense and score on them. Floats it up for James. Really seizing the momentum of this game, but doing it with a methodical approach. They've decided to pound the ball inside, using their physicality to set the tone. Dragic against LeBron. Floats one up, and it's Dragic laying it in. He has six. <laughs> that's just great touch. The teardrop, well, that's all about feel. So timeout called here, the first for Los Angeles. Greg, so many people know your story, born and raised in Las Vegas. It must have been an amazing feeling then to lead UNLV to its only championship. I mean, Kevin, you know, playing in front of so many people you know has its pros and cons. Right. But to be a part of that 1990 championship team and the only one we've been able to hoist and to have my jersey hanging in that rafter, it's humbling and... Yes, it brings back a lot of fond memories. Like historically good, right? When you think of that team, what that meant, uh, it has a historic place. It, it does. We felt like we were able to etch our mark in terms of the lures of the game of college basketball.
Derek Jones, he's checked in for Miami. Igudala comes in for Jimmy Butler. And then for Los Angeles, Kyle Kuzma's checked in for Howard. Alex Crusoe comes in for Green. Rajon Rondo is subbed in for Contavious Caldwell Pope. And he makes that one. And the Lakers lead by 14. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. Here's Hero. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. A power flush with a long hang on the rim at the end of that. that could be, you know, that could be a catalyst for him. It really could. Down low. And Rondo gets it to go on the assist by Kuzma. Excellent all-around performance so far. Hence the big lead. They've come out of the gate strong at both ends of the floor. Just, just in total control so far. Trogic gets the bucket. Oh, he's perfect from the field this quarter. He's giving them the fits out there. And so it's Rondo bringing it up for Los Angeles. Leading by 12. Davis finds James. Back to Davis. And Davis throws it down. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip especially on the offensive end. Yeah, they've been very aggressive, and they've taken early control of this game. Now, here's Dragic. Eight points for him. That's a break for the D right there. I mean, he takes advantage of open looks inside more often than not. And Davis throws it down. Chemistry at its best. An unreal alley-oop. Yeah, you're right. The pass, the catch, the dunk. All of it perfect. Here's Hero. Pass to Olenek. The three. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. One of those guys who combines the body of a big man and the game of a guard. Olenek can get it done on the perimeter. Outside Rondo. Passes to Kuzma. To the inside. And he makes the bucket. Gets the whistle. And now a three-point play chance here for him. And ten of their last twelve coming off assists. Lakers shooting their fourth shot at the foul line here. JaVale McGee's checked in for the Lakers. Markeith Morris comes in for LeBron. What's up? Having a floor general like Rondo on the court instantly elevates your offense. He, he does everything he can to bring out the best in his team. Here's Hero. Outside Dragic. Olenek tried to break loose. No good from Dragic. Lakers leading by 16. Morris kicks to Kuzma. And they cash in right away with the quick shot. Look at Morris break down the defense on this play. If they leave one of his guys open, he's going to get it to him fast. When Kuzma first entered the league, the Lakers were a rebuilding team. Now, Greg, he's one of the more experienced pieces on this team. And, and Kuzma's made the most of it. Switching to a learning role, tries to absorb as much as he can from the vets. And he does everything he can to pick their brain and improve on those little things in terms of championship caliber basketball. And again, it's the Heat missing. And on the glass so far, it hadn't even been close. Here's the three. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. And the Lakers lead by 20. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Iguodala outside to the middle. Here's Olenek. And the dunk by Olenek. Oh, and with the fast eyes, Iguodala finding the open man. Los Angeles leading by 18. Outside Rondo. There's 53 seconds left to play in the first. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Wow. Wow. He got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. Shooting two. First one falls for him. Oh, 
and Rondo drops them both. And they've clearly been the aggressors here early on, drawing fouls and working themselves to the line. Pass to Iguodala. Good ball movement here by Miami. Here's Dragic from outside. Drills the three-pointer. Dragic has got 11 points. An assertive player. Dragic knows he has the green light to catch and fire. 29 seconds left in the first quarter. Pulls up on the wing. And there's Morris. That's good on the assist by McGee. The Heat trailed by 19. Dragic with it. Guarded now by Morris. And the foul called on Markeith Morris. That's his first foul. There's 21 seconds left to play in the first quarter. And here's Dragic. He's got 11. Rondo on the double team. Clock at four. The Heat need to get a shot off. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers taking a 19-point lead into the break. From the field, they have been outstanding. Amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. We've got more in store for you right after this. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And guys, the Lakers are pretty much in control here. Well, they used the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set. Well, setting the pace early. Aggressive mind state. I love their approach so far. And so it's Iguodala. He'll bring it up for the Heat. 19-point game. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, as the second quarter gets going. On the floor for Miami. In the middle, it's Olenek in Adebayo. Iguodala out there with Hero. And it's Jones in at the three slot. And here is Los Angeles now, following the score by Miami. McGee, the pass to Kuzma. He kicks it to Rondo. Rondo is doubled. Six to shoot. And there's the pass to McGee. That shot is off. Good D by Jones. And uh, Miami shooting at 46%, making some buckets. Here's Hero, guarded by McGee. Jones dishes to Iguodala. Over Morris. And terrific work on the offensive glass, and he picks up two. Quarter number two with just over a minute gone. And that's a foul called on Bam Adebayo. And that'll be his third foul so far. And already his third foul. It's got to be time to get him out of there probably until the third quarter. Robinson's checked in for a limit. Here's Kuzma. And a miss there off the inbound. He's going to have a tough time hitting that if he can't create a little more space for himself. Robinson up top. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Greg, not all drafts are the same in terms of talent. But 2019 was a year to remember. No doubt about it. I mean, transcendent talent at the top. You think of Zion and, and Ja. Both could be future league MVPs. And the irony is that those two guys were teammates in high school. Go figure. Yeah, go figure is right. And that one falls for Robinson. And the Heat with some changes. Jay Crowder comes in for Jones. And it's Butler in for Andre Iguodala. The Lakers also with a sub. Caldwell Pope, he's checked in for Alex Caruso. Robinson hits them both. Oh, you can get spoiled watching him at the line. I mean, you just expect him to make everyone every time. 
Here's Caldwell Pope, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. And see what Contavious Caldwell Pope changing his approach before last season. He knew he wouldn't need to take on as much of a scoring responsibility. Yeah, and what a team player, GA. I mean, KCP rededicated himself to defense. He tries to do more with less touches now, and that's the mindset you need to have playing with stars going for a championship. Super two. Free throw good from Caldwell Pope. And Caldwell Pope is a guy you cannot leave open at any time. He, uh, just a very good shooter from any spot on the floor. And Caldwell Pope drops them both. Just about a minute and a half has gone by here in the second. Hero passes to Autobio. Crowder with it. Guarded now by Morris. Shot by Crowder. No good. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. McGee. And Autobio sends it back. Releases. They grab their own miss. Shots good by Hero. The tenacity on that interior. Just battling. Bringing that effort and will for second chance points. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Oh, to the Parada Bayo. Stolen by McGee. It's Caldwell Pope with the drive. And Caldwell Pope just blows past defenders with the speed. Just a sensational finisher all around the bucket. The Heat trail by 15. Hero passes to Crowder. Outside Robinson, a shot by Butler, nobody around. Good, and the assist goes to Robinson. Butler's got seven. He can be sneaky good from deep sometimes. I mean, when he gets clean looks, he's got the ability to do some damage out there. Now, here's Caldwell Pope. He's got ten, and they'll keep possession, and they get it back. And the slam dunk by McGee. Let's see, this is why... JaVale McGee is out here. When he hustles like this, his coaches and teammates notice. Pass to Autobio. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. And here's Morris for three. Good on the three-point shot. He has five. Always like when Morris pulls up on the defense. I mean, he loves hitting him with this deadly jumper off the dribble. Hero passes to Crowder. Over Morris. And another basket for Miami. Now Rondo. Nine points in the game so far. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Hey, Kevin. We know that for years the NBA has thought about a postseason play-in tournament to get more teams and fans involved. Last year's pandemic stoppage basically necessitated its implementation. For the NBA, the disruption of business as usual enabled innovation and risk-taking. I don't want to be too hoity-toity, but it was Albert Einstein who once said, in the midst of every crisis lies great opportunity. Guys, back to you. You're right. Thank you, David. Timeout called the Lakers. And taken with the 30th pick back in 2011, Jimmy Butler went from 15th man in Chicago riding the end of the bench to franchise player in the course of four seasons. Big group substitution here for the Lakers. 
Dwight Howard. He's checked in for JaVale McGee. Anthony Davis comes in for Markeith Morris. Danny Green, he's checked in for Kyle Kuzma. And it's LeBron in for Rajon Rondo. Oh, he's known for his defensive chops. Butler, he is opportunistic and aggressive in how he comes up with steals. And Greg, it seemed in Chicago and Minnesota, maybe Jimmy Butler wore out his welcome. Philadelphia, they had him and they had to juggle multiple stars. But man, Miami, the Heat handed him the keys and he has taken off. And Kevin, he's shown himself worthy, lifting them to a top seed in the East and himself into the MVP conversation. And Adebayo, no good on that one. Lakers leading by 13. Here's Caldwell Pope. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Greg, I know you've played for some great coaches in your day. What is it that separates the truly elite coaches, in your opinion, from just coaches that are pretty good? I think the one attribute that's most important for a great coach is consistency. And I've said as you can... You can coach a lot of different ways. You can win a lot of different ways. But you've got to be sincere and true to your principles and, oh, and your philosophy. And take those are the coaches. Two and shots. I've had them that have done it different ways, but they've been the most successful. And listen, you've also, at the professional level, you've got to have a presence about you. You've got to have some charisma out there as well to get these men to buy in. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. And Caldwell Pope drops them both. And just a much better job of attacking and getting to the line here in the second quarter. Didn't have a single attempt in the first. Now here's Crowder. He dishes it to Butler. Over Caldwell Pope. Green with the rebound. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. They led the game at one point by 20. LeBron, good. They are just killing them on the interior. The Heat trail by 17. Outside, Robinson. Passes it to Butler. Here's Hero. Now, here is Robinson. Just five on the clock. Takes a three. Sinks the triple. Robinson's got five now. You know, the defense was lax right there, and he's able to make them pay. LeBron outside. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Throws down the alley-oop slam. An elite passer at his position. I mean, James always seems to make the right decision. Kicks it to Butler. And they double up. Oh, it's off his foot. And the ref saying he kicked it. And Miami making a change here. Trogic has checked in. Pass to Crowder. And they double up Butler. Six on the shot clock. And Crowder with the basket on the assist by Butler. Butler's got his third assist on the night. Lakers leading by 13. Davis with it. He's got eight from deep LeBron. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Crowder inside. Working on Howard. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That one on Davis. And when he's not shooting threes, Crowder is attacking the paint. That, that's how he plays the game. What you love about Crowder, he gives you a little bit of everything at both ends. I mean, defensively, he'll take on anybody. He's smart, draws a lot of charges. Offensively, he can stretch the floor, and he'll make the extra pass. He's also an opportunistic rebounder. Free throw good Crowder and they're getting to the line a lot in this quarter guys and it hasn't been by accident
And both free throws good from Crowder. And you talk about a culture builder. Jay Crowder is a guy who is not content with losing ball games. He's a competitor, and that, that rubs off on his teammates. Now, here's Caldwell Pope. He's got 14. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. And hammering down the two-hand slam. Ball's knocked loose. The pass to Crowder. Outside Butler. Heat moving the ball around. Loads it up for Adebayo. Oh, what a pass. And then he lays it in with the circus move. Mm, so smooth. LeBron kicks to Caldwell Pope. Back to LeBron. Outside Green. Pass to Davis. Shoots over Crowder. It's hauled in by the Heat. Autobio's got four rebounds now tonight. Butler from outside. That's in coming off an assist from Autobio. Butler's got it back down to a single-digit deficit for Miami. Los Angeles has gone three of five from beyond the arc so far tonight. James has a two-pointer. Here's Davis. Banked in off the glass. Davis has got four this quarter. Okay, look how competitive Davis gets for the board. He knows how valuable second shots are. Here's Robinson. Trying to get open is Crowder. Robinson, that's good. He's finally coming around, trying to make up for that goose egg he put up in the first quarter. Green, the pass to LeBron. And the dunk high chains. That's the savvy veteran Green. He's able to spot when his teammates aren't being covered. That's a nice read right there. Crowder inside. He's guarded by Davis. And Davis sends it back. His first shot coming late. No good that time. And it's Miami the other way. Butler dishes to Robinson. Pass to Dragic. Doubled by Howard. Inside. Adebayo. And Adebayo throws it down. And this is too easy for Adebayo. Once he's close to the rim, he is going to damage it. Green finds Howard. An emphatic LU jam. Now this is the chemistry Howard has with this guy. It's fantastic at realizing when to go for LU. Robinson passes to Crowder. He can't get that one to fall. Great D that time from Davis. Caldwell Pope for three. It's in and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. It's first triple of the second quarter, third of the game. Pass to Butler. Down low. And Adebayo throws it down. Oh, look, if you're open, Butler will find you. His court awareness, very impressive. LeBron passes to Howard. And it's Davis at the elbow. Good on the bucket. 14 points for Anthony Davis. Such a consistent night for him from the field. Whenever they've needed it, he's been their safety valve. Now a timeout called by Miami. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. Poor rotations. I mean, slow help and just not enough toughness on the interior. They've got a lot to talk about. And the Heat with some changes. Kelly Olenek's checked in for Jay Crowder. Jones comes in for Jimmy Butler. And it's Iguodala in for Robinson. And the Lakers also making a switch. Caruso's checked in. Now here's Iguodala. And no good. 
but close in that one, so he'll shoot two. And some controversy last season. Andre Iguodala traded to the Grizzlies. We know he didn't report, Greg, just stayed in the Bay Area until a trade could be worked out to Miami. I'd call that a power move, Kevin, no doubt. I Iguodala, a respected vet, wanted to play for a contender, and he got an extra year and $15 million in the deal. No good on that one. Oh, he turns it up. And though Iguodala has become a long-range shooting threat, he still managed to struggle from the line. And he sinks the second. 153 left now here in the second. against James and the pass to Caruso and again it's the Lakers from deep and this is why his teammates trust him uh, James has a sensational feel for when the dish and here is Iguodala pass to Autobio and it's sent back by Howard they've shown some strength in the paint today their work on the boards has been impressive and Davis throws it down. That's just a perfect focus right there. I mean, I like how Davis takes the hit and just keeps working to get to the buck. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And the Lakers making a change here. Kuzma's checked in. What's up? And that one falls for Anthony Davis. One of my favorite bigs in the entire NBA. When Anthony Davis is on the floor. It's appointment viewing only. Now here's Dragic. He's got 11. He scores a six bucket from the floor with that one. He's shot the ball 11 times. He's been fantastic, but he can't do it all by himself. Some of the other guys need to lighten the load and step up. Here's Caruso, and the rejection by Iguodala. And the ability to go vertical, I mean, Iguodala's a sneaky shot blocker. Here's LeBron, and that one falls, coming off of Davis's feed. Davis has got three assists now in this one. Dragic. Looking for an opening. Keeps it alive. Adebayo on the follow. Adebayo's got 10 points in the quarter. Great quarter for him at the offensive end, trying to will his team back in the game. And they double up Davis. Passes it to LeBron. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Shoots over Olenek. Again, Los Angeles. Oh, so tough to contain Davis when he's on a roll. He's got the physicality and an expansive all-around skill set. Rogic against James. Now Drogic. With one on the clock. And the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for him. Howard, such an opposing presence, changing that shot. Anthony Davis firing on all cylinders for the Los Angeles Lakers. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Contavious, you've been able to produce easily and efficiently in the first half. What's enabled you to keep it going? Um, I mean, I'm just moving on the offensive end and I just find an open spot. They're turning their heads a lot, so I'm just trying to get to the open spot and then knock down a shot. Either I'm cutting to the back or spot up for the three. You've been on a roll so far. We'll see if you can keep it up. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you, and stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show.
A tremendous game we're seeing from Anthony Davis. He ended up with 19 points, five rebounds, and four blocks. What'd you think, Kenny, about what we saw from the Lakers? Well, they just about ran their offense to perfection. They pounded the ball inside, and the entry feeds were on time and on the money. It was a clinic to watch. The second half is going to be no contest if they keep getting shots eight feet and in. And over to Shaq. What'd you think about Miami? Well, the big issue to address, Ernie, is their rebounding. They got low energy, low effort on the glass. Well, let's take out there with a whole different attitude. The final score could look like Kenny. U-G-L-Y. He ain't got no alibi. He's ugly. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. You look at Anthony Davis in this game. He's been everywhere. Yeah, pretty much all throughout that first half, and he was taking care of his business on the low blocks and getting more than his fair share of dunks. Well, they haven't found a way to keep him quiet inside. I mean, their best bet probably would be to deny him the ball altogether because when he gets it, they can't stop him. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. The Heat trail by 18. So for the Lakers right now, LeBron and Green make up the backcourt. Caldwell Pope out there with Anthony Davis. And it's Howard in at the center, filling out the middle. Now here's Butler. Over Caldwell Pope. Shots good from Butler. Butler's got the first points of the second half up on the board for Miami to the paint. Here's Caldwell Pope. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. Just fantastic to have a score like Caldwell Pope. A guy who can let it rain from any spot on the floor. Here's Dragic. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Over in the corner, Caldwell Pope wants to get it to Butler and does. Outside Robinson. The kick out to Dragic. Nailed from three-point land. Dragic has got 16. It's a great awareness being shown by Crowder. Spotted the open man and made a fantastic pitch. Outside, Green. Butler against Caldwell Pope. Pass to Davis. The Heat trail by 15. Here's Butler. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. He's got 16. He, he's so focused. Butler does not let the defender get into his head. That's a sign of an elite score. Green draws the double. The feed now to James. Over Dragic. James, no good. And so it's Crowder with it. He'll bring it up for the Miami Heat. They've only allowed two points so far here in the second half. With strong athleticism, Adebayo can finish just about any lob with his large catch radius. The pass to Caldwell Pope. Davis kicks to Caldwell Pope. Five to shoot. Green draws the double. Here's Howard. That misses off the back end. Might take them a little while to find their stride here in the second half. Only one for four so far. They just need to calm down, play their game. Now, here is Robinson. Seven points in the game. Crowder finds Butler. And again, Miami with the triple. The adjustments they've made offensively, they're putting guys in a position now to succeed. Well, I mean, anyone can tell. They've ramped up the intensity. I mean, they're more assertive, especially at the offensive end. Agic against James. Outside, Green. To the middle. Here's Howard. And it's slammed in by Howard. And you can sense them just starting to squeeze and shrink this lead a little bit. Pass to Buck. it loose it's stolen by green here we go all alone and he camps off the fast break with a monster slam well defenders have to be aware of green's active hands he seems to time his steals perfectly rockets the pass to butler 
Green against Robinson. Inside. Autobio. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And Bam Adebayo demonstrating a refined skill set that belies his nickname. Over five assists per game. He's a creator, not just a finisher. Shoot two. And the first one drops. And the Heat have given Adebayo the leeway to rip and run, baby. Make things happen. And Kevin, an unselfish player who loves to pass. Even back in high school, playing with lesser talent, he made sure to find the others. Heroes checked in for the Heat. The Lakers also making some changes. JaVale McGee's checked in for Howard. Markeith Morris comes in for Davis. Arjan Rondo subbed in for LeBron. Lakers leading by 10. Rondo passes to Green. Green draws the double. Takes the three. It's hauled in by Hero. Now the Heat with it. They're on a 14-6 run. Got that bucket in in no time at all. Rogic has got it back down to within single digits for the Heat. Here's Rondo. He's got 11. A floater. And Morris throws it down. Talk about an advanced distributor. I mean, there's passes that point guards can make, and there's passes that Rajon Rondo can make. Here's Hero. That's a two from Butler. Again, the Heat, good for two. And here is Los Angeles now. Outside Rondo. It's in, and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed ten straight points in the paint. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. So Crowder will go to the free throw line. It's going to go on Markeith Morris. For Miami, they have made seven out of nine when they've stepped to the line. Find the leg. Find the leg. One shot. Free throw good. Crowder. Lakers leading by six. Rondo kicks to Caldwell Pope. Back to Rondo. Outside Green. Lays it up and banks it in. And the Lakers lead by eight. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. Rogic finds Crowder. Here's Hero. Guarded by Green. Here's Crowder, and Crowder climbs it in. And showing he can play above the rim. Crowder with the highlight. Los Angeles calls timeout. Every timeout, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. Now, that's what coaches are paid to do, right? I mean, curious to see what they go with here. A different look for Miami. Olenek is checked in for Bam Adebayo. And it's Igudala in for Goran Dragic. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for the Lakers. Caldwell Pope outside. 
A three-pointer off the mark. The Heat trail by six. Outer dishes do a good out. He feeds it to Olenek. Shoots over Kuzma. The rebound by Caldwell Pope. There's a lesson for you. Don't showboat. Tries to get fancy with the fadeaway. And it backfires. Miami's gotten the three ball working for them in the second half. They've hit three out of three shots from long range. Lakers leading by six. Launches a three. Rebound by Butler. Butler's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. He hasn't had anywhere near the same touch he had in the first half. Zero three-pointers in this half compared to three in the first. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. And rightfully so. Also, how lackluster was the defense right there with the score this tight? And uh, Miami shooting it very well tonight, around 57%. Iguodala, the pass to Butler. And the foul called on Markeith Morris. That's his third foul of the game. Jones checked in for Miami. And the Lakers also making a change. Alex Caruso, he's checked in for Caldwell Pope. And a chance there to look back at the stunning mobile one block a moment ago. And that'll give him a jolt. Nothing like a rejection to light a fire under you. On defense, the Lakers. They led the game at one point by 20. Last break, the Lakers. Here's Caruso. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Morris isn't afraid of getting whacked. In fact, he welcomes it when he's going up to shoot. It's his first trip to the line. down the first one you know I like Morris he's a valuable contributor on both ends of the floor now he's a sniper from deep and he can definitely lock you up on D as well that one falls so he hits both of them the heat trail by eight Here's Hero. Now the dish to Iguodala. Now here's Butler. To the left side wing. Shot clock at six. Here's Hero. And good. And it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Hero's got six. I mean, offensively, he's been their driving force. Determined not to let the lead get any bigger. Well, I'll tell you what. He earned his money on that foul. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. And for, as for last season, he was a 74% shooter at the line. And he makes the first. Now many people are high on Kuzma, an all-around player with a promising future given his impressive skill set. Both free throws good for Kuzma. Impeccable from the line since halftime. And so it's Iguodala. He'll bring it up for the Heat. Trailing here by eight. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Here's Caruso. He's covered by Iguodala. Rondo. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. 
and Rondo really more creative than giving credit. Just has that knack for making defenders have to foul. Three trips to the line so far for him in this one. First free throw is good. And some changes here for the Lakers. Davis comes in for JaVale McGee. And James subbed in for Markeith Morris. <laughs> Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. The Heat trail by seven. Igudala finds Butler. Iguodala is oh, oh, what a beautiful play. What intensity. Did you see that? Great. Right. He can get off of fancy when he wants to. And Iguodala wanted to that time. You fancy, huh? And the dunk by James. Oh, I dunk you very much. Uh, he, he can really fly. And you combine that, Greg, with some nice penetration, too. And you've got two points. Now here's Iguodala. He has five. Hero passes to Butler. No good. Lakers leading by seven. And finished off by LeBron. Right, that's just superb concentration despite getting hit. James is just excellent at scoring through contact. And LeBron James still the face of the league as he goes into his mid-30s. The impact he's had on this sport is really immeasurable. Come on, G.A. I mean, he's one of the most recognizable athletes in the world. I mean, it's scary to think that LeBron can still turn it on and take over when he needs to. And you know what? Playoff LeBron is a very real thing. Free throw good, LeBron. In many ways, uh, he feels like he's playing his best ball right now when, when you talk about LeBron James. Hero passes to Iguodala. Dishes it to Butler. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's on LeBron James. No question, he got bumped on that shot. The Heat have made their free throws at a pretty good clip. They've hit 8 of 10. Yeah, a year ago, though, Kevin, 78% conversion rate from the free throw line. So that's a nice all-around effort. Shooting two. First free throw is good. Now, the competitive edge that Butler gives to this team uh, is it's important because he doesn't take any possessions off. And so Butler nails both of them. Lakers leading by eight. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Yeah, Rondo just isn't afraid of getting hammered on the inside. Remarkable at getting under the skin of his opponents and forcing the issue. He shot well from the line tonight, going four for five. First one falls. He doesn't get the second one. The Heat trail by nine. Butler goes in. Baseline jumper. The Lakers with the rebound. LeBron's got four rebounds in this game. That one goes. Count it. 
Rondo's got six points in the quarter. Yeah, out in the open court, Rondo's versatile. I mean, he can make plays for others or finish for himself. Here's Hero. He's covered by Rondo. To the inside. Butler, no good. He's not an easy man to stop when he's attacking the basket. The D doing everything it can. Here's LeBron. The shot will not fall. Good work defensively by Jones. From the arc. And Butler gets it to go on the assist by Jones. Butler's got 26 points. Knocks down his second three of the half. I mean, he had two of them in the first half also. Doing some solid work from deep. Left side Rondo. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Rondo. Duncan Robinson, he's checked in for Jimmy Butler. And the Lakers also making a change. Howard's checked in. The Heat trail by eight. 130 left in the third quarter. Hero passes to Robinson. On the wing, Agudala. He's got five. And two free throws coming up as the whistle blows. He barely missed that one. That one on Davis. Oh, such smooth footwork. The understanding of the game. Iguodala drawing the foul in close. He shot two free throws in the game. Made one and missed one. Shooting two. That free throw, no good. And he's good on the second. <laughs> they are making it look easy at the free throw line here in the second half. Caruso looking for an opening. The drive by James. LeBron is doubled. Here's Kuzma. And the Lakers with another miss. It isn't the D that causes that miss. That's just a, a loss of concentration. That time. And the rejection by LeBron. And that's out of bounds. Miami will retain possession. The Heat making a switch here. Progic has checked in. Five seconds left here in the third quarter. And not being as aggressive from the three-point line anymore. They had a lot more attempts in that first half. Down low. Here's Howard. Here's Davis. And that basket to his impressive total. Brings him to 10 for 14. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Now here's Iguodala. He's got six. Here's Krogic. And he wills that one in. Sinking right through off the back iron. Lakers leading by five. Three second difference between shot clock and game clock. Howard finds James. Bobbed up there for Howard. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And he's so skilled at finding ways to get to the line. Davis staying aggressive and going at the D. And these are his second and third free throws tonight. Yeah, and he wasn't someone you wanted to foul if you were defending him last season. 85% is what he made from the line. And that one falls for Anthony Davis. So Anthony Davis nails both of them. 
Oh, this is a big fella who has no problems at the foul line. I mean, a very smooth touch on the stroke. Dragic with it. Two on the clock. Off the mark. And so it's Los Angeles bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. Uh, just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? How about the unselfishness? Night in and night out, we see guys trying to force their own agenda. Not that time. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. Lakers leading by seven. Iguodala out there with Jones. Then it's Bam Adebayo. Then there's Drogic, and it's Robinson. In it. Wow, hammering it in! Oh. oh, come on. Hall of Fame athleticism and ability. James has no problem throwing it down in style. Here's Robinson, and it's Robinson with the jam. Oh, that's a major league throwdown. Keeps a tight grip on that rim, too, after the finish. Here's Green. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And you talk about the perfect veteran wing player. Danny Green's right at the top of that list. Solid defense, good shooter, and plays within himself. good from Green and Greg the experiences that Danny Green has had over the course of his terrific career uh, it's hard to match I mean he's won multiple titles in his career done so in different places with different types of teams he's seen it all and knows what it takes to succeed and Miami making a change here Crowder's checked in he hits both from the strike well, not the most heralded prospect to ever come out of North Carolina, but Green has been a big contributor to a number of NBA championship runs. Passes it to Autobio. Kuzma pulls it in. And, and they continue to control the glass. James, the pass to Davis. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. 25 points for Anthony Davis. Oh, embracing contact on the way up. I mean, Davis is terrific at keeping his composure on these challenging finishes. It's stolen by Davis. He kicks it to James. Let's it go from 14. And another basket for the Lakers. No one commands more attention from the defense. But LeBron knows how to beat it. I mean, he can do it in a variety of ways. Howard against Adebayo. You know, they don't score on that shot, but they're going to be happy with those kinds of possessions. Bobbed up there for Howard. Crowder with the steal. Game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. Rogic finds Crowder. Rogic against LeBron. Fires for three. They get it back. And it's sent back by Howard. You got to be aware of Howard at all times, especially on defense, where he makes his living blocking shots. To the middle. The wide open look here for Kuzma. Los Angeles with a fresh shot clock. Howard, the pass to Kuzma. And Kuzma slams it in. Oh, improving his floor awareness. Howard has a decent sense for when his guys are open. Here's Dragic and the rejection by LeBron. Three-pointer. A three-pointer is right on target. 
Kuzma's got five points in the quarter. And this is why coaches talk about playing with pace. The scoreboard tells it all. Yeah, because it's so hard to prevent transition scores. Whenever you get an opportunity to get out and run, you take it. Now a timeout called by Miami. You have to like what we're seeing from Davis. And he's just attacking the rim with force here. They need to try and deny him the ball in the paint to keep him away from the basket. Butler, he's checked in for Miami. Contavious Caldwell Pope, he's checked in for the Lakers. And here's Adebayo. To the right side. Here's Drogic from outside. That's in, coming off an assist from Adebayo. Adebayo's got three assists tonight. James looking it over. They double him with Butler. Here's Kuzma. And Kuzma slams it in. Wow, you see how fast he got off the ground? I love whenever Kuzma rises up to throw it down. Robinson against Green. Butler. And it's Butler with the jam. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. Yeah, coach is definitely pleased. That's the execution he loves to see. Chalk up two there. And the way James dominates on the offensive end, making it look effortless tonight. And it's Dragic bringing up the ball for the Miami Heat. 17-point game. Butler passes to Autobio. And so the ball out of bounds. Howard touched it last. And he made the right read on that play, but just couldn't secure the steal. And you can tell he feels he should have had it still. The hustle was impressive. The Lakers on D. They've allowed just seven points here in the fourth quarter. I like that pick play. I mean, you can see how easily it makes it for him to get to the cup. One shot. Here's LeBron. Out to Kuzma. Pass to Caldwell Pope. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's going to be on Bam Adebayo. Well, you really like seeing Caldwell Pope earning these calls on the shot. I mean, it, it, it makes him that much more difficult to guard. Free throw good from Caldwell Pope. And Caldwell Pope drops them both. The Heat trail by 16. Robinson inside here's Butler and that's good Robinson picking up the assist 
Robinson's got five assists tonight. Los Angeles leading by 14. The pass to James. Shoots over Dragic. Los Angeles with another miss. For Miami, they've gone 5 of 10, 50% from the field. Here's Butler. He can't hit that time. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. They led the game at one point by 20. And Caldwell Pope gets the basket. Adding to his three-point total on the night. He had three in the first half. Now he's got his first one here in the second. Caldwell Pope against Butler. Now here's Adebayo. D right on him. And that one drops for him. Crowder's got nine points now in just the second half. He's made the most of the halftime break. He shook off the problems he had in the first half, and he, he started to settle in. It's stolen by Adebayo. Pass to Robinson. Dragic with it. He's picked up by LeBron. And Adebayo throws it down. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys in the bench. They are pumped up. Here's James. Makes it off the glass. LeBron's got eight points here in this quarter. Coming off the screen. LeBron's showing the poise. He runs this play time and time and time again. Back to Dragic. to the paint. Here's Butler. And they call the foul, so he's got the and-one chance here to make it a three-point play. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Tyler Hero. He's checked in for Duncan Robinson. free throw good from Butler and the Lakers have possession leading by 12 James outside over Dragic and it's Miami with the rebound Adebayo's got his eighth rebound here tonight here's Hero guarded by Green to the inside trying to get open is crowded and that one's good by Butler Butler's got 35 they're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. The drive by James, and the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. It's been a clinical performance. He's played a huge role and, and has them in position to grab the W. And Anthony Davis is checked in for Kyle Kuzma. Good, James. The Heat trail by 13. Pass to Hero. Rogic against James. Tries it from the top of the key, and there's another one for the Heat. He's wrapped up his game in a big way this quarter. I don't think he likes it when they're trailing to the paint. Here's Caldwell Pope and down it goes. Dunk threw off a wonderful assist. Nice and you can't forget about the bunnies on Caldwell Pope. I mean uh, this guy is definitely looking to slam it down whenever he gets an opportunity. Hero passes to Autobio. Some nice ball movement here by the Heat. Dragic gets the bucket. It doesn't have to break stride at all thanks to the money lead pass. From about 19 feet, again, Los Angeles. Well, with the role he's on this quarter, they're, they're going to keep going to him. Get that lead even bigger. Outside, Butler. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That one on Davis. 
Well, that's just a veteran move from Butler. Outstanding fake to get his defender in the air. Nice work. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. And not a single free throw attempt in that first half. But he has been far more active since the break and drawn some fouls. And so Butler nails both of them. And so James will bring it up for Los Angeles. They led the game at one point by 20. Kicks it to Caldwell Polk. Rogic comes with the double team. James, the bounce pass. It's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. Always going up for the alley-oop here. Hammers the alley-oop through. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Hero passes to Adebayo. Here's Hero. That's in coming off an assist from Adebayo. Oh, forget about three-pointers. Give me a look from right in tight. I'll take it all day long. James dishes to Howard. Pass to Davis. Shoots a fader. A nice shot by Howard. It's near impossible trying to match up with Howard's muscle. He makes scoring look easy, even though it's tough contact. Timeout called the Heat. Look at LeBron James. He's really been playing well. Oh, yeah, no question what they'll be talking about in this timeout. They need to figure out some way to slow him down. And now, let's present our New Balance player of the game, LeBron James. And what an amazing ball game we've seen from him. It's been a one-man show worth the price of admission all by itself. There wasn't anything he couldn't do on that court tonight. Well, to come in here facing a hostile crowd and have a game like he's had, that's what separates the good players from the great players. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Well, guys, during the last break, I listened to Eric Spolster address the team. He was measured in his words. He told his players, look, we're doing a lot of good things out there, really good things. Stay confident and stay positive in your approach. Trying to keep their hopes up, Kevin. Thank you, David. Oh, the defender plays tough, but Davis is tougher. Plays through the contact with authority. Near the three-point line, it's Dragic and misses it off the right side of the rim. Los Angeles leading by 15. Crowder with the steal. It's two on one. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And for a guy who shoots a lot of threes, Crowder does a pretty good job of getting himself to the free throw line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good, Crowder.
and both free throws good from Crowder. 152 left in the fourth. Here's Green. The pass to Howard. Oats it up for Davis. Up high to stuff the alley oop. Oh, such a beautiful pass to set that one up. Yeah, the pass might have been pretty, but the finish was angry. <laughs> Back to Dragic. Pass to Autobio. Six on the shot clock. Three-pointer. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. And guys, what we saw here tonight is one side having everything going for them. Huge margin of victory for the Lakers. This was a very efficient offense tonight. And the, they found a way to get their shots to go down. A little luck didn't hurt. A lot of their 50-50 shots fell their way. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for LeBron. What a teammate he was tonight. Setting guys up for layups and open jumpers on, on what seemed like every possession. And here's James. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. 17-point game. Green the pass to Davis. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's going to be on Jay Crowder. An absolute powerhouse down there. Howard attacks with such ferocity. It makes defenders nervous. Free throw good, Howard. And the Heat going with the whole new group on the floor. A big group substitution here for the Lakers. JaVale McGee's checked in for Anthony Davis. Smith comes in for Caldwell Pope. Avery Bradley, he's checked in for Danny Green. And Cook subbed in for LeBron. And so Howard nails both of them. And so here is Miami, trailing by 19. Iguodala outside, back to none. Floats one, that falls. Nice speed that time from Andre Iguodala. Oh, even from that range, the floater is one of the toughest shots in the game. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Feeds to Smith, and Smith with the stuff. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, I love how they play for one another out there. No signs of selfishness. They're just a total team effort. Here's none, and he dunks it down. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. Yeah, coach is definitely pleased. That's the execution he loves to see. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I, I guess they don't need home cooking to feel at <laughs> home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Chris Weber, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. So long.